Hi, this video is about current and potential difference. First we'll go through an explanation for each one, starting with current and then potential difference. And then what we'll do is we'll try a few questions to see if we've understood it properly. Okay, so let's start with current. First we want to think about what electrical current actually is. So if we take a look at copper wire, with current flowing through it, what's actually happening? If we zoom in on the copper wire, we can see its metallic structure. So there are copper ions, those are the red positive ions here. They don't move, they just vibrate on the spot. And then you've got the electrons, which are much smaller here and negatively charged. And the electrons are delocalized which means they're not bound to any particular atom. They're free to move. And they're also known as free electrons as well. So when the wire is connected to a battery like here, they will, the electrons will all flow in a certain direction, in the same direction. And they'll flow from negative to positive. So they'll go this way around the wire. So, is current the flow of electrons? Well, yes and no. Um, because how do we explain why water conducts electricity? We know that it does, but how do we explain that? Water is not made of metal. It doesn't have free electrons. So, what's happening when water conducts electricity? So, let's have a look. There's a bottle of water. On the label, you'll generally have what's called the typical analysis. And if you have a look at the typical analysis, you see that actually water is not just H2O. Water contains a number of different minerals and they exist dissolved as ions in the water. So if we zoom in on the water here, we would see calcium ions, sodium ions, magnesium ions, all dissolved in the water as charged ions and it's these ions that flow and allow the water to conduct electricity so really current is the flow of charge and we measure current by measuring the rate of flow of charge so here's an equation current symbol is I is equal to the charge divided by time so it's the rate of flow of charge current is measured in amps and the unit we just write capital A the unit of charge is called the Coulomb and capital C is how we write the unit there. Time is seconds, so it's just small s. And this is a very important equation when it comes to circuits. And you have to become very familiar with this equation and rearranging it um, whenever you come across a question about current or charge or something like that. So now that we know what current is, we need to think about what causes it. The answer, of course, is the battery. The battery up here. The battery gives the charges, or the electrons in this case, the battery gives the electrons electrical potential energy, which is then transferred into other forms by circuit components. For example, the lamp here. And if we were to look at the potential energy on one side of the lamp versus on the other side, we would find that there is a difference in energy. And that's what we call a potential difference, and it's measured in volts. So to explain this a bit further, let's have a closer look at this circuit with the lamp and the battery. So just before the electrons go through the lamp, remember the electrons are traveling this way, from negative to positive. 
just before the electrons go through the lamp they have a certain amount of electrical potential energy the lamp as they pass through the lamp the lamp then takes that energy and transfers it to light and heat which go into the surroundings so when the electrons come out of the other side of the lamp at this point they will have less energy than before because the lamp has given away and transferred much of their energy so the electrons here will have less energy than the electrons entering the lamp hence if we measure the energy before and after and subtract them we can find the potential difference it's just the difference in electrical potential energy per unit charge before and after and that's why we place a voltmeter in parallel because that's what a voltmeter does a voltmeter measures the difference in energy on either side of a component and remember that remember that the energy is being carried by the charges and in this case the charges were the electrons so potential difference is the energy transferred per unit charge and in equation form we can write it like this now this is the potential difference it's measured in volts and the symbol for the unit is capital V this is the energy transferred measured in joules capital J and then we have charge and as usual it's measured in coulombs capital C let's have a look at this problem here if 18,400 coulombs of charge flows through an air conditioning unit every hour what current does it draw okay so it's asking about current it's given us the charge in coulombs and it said every hour okay so that that's time so we know an equation that has all of those three in it and it's that so let's try plugging in some numbers 18,400 coulombs is transferred every hour but remember time is in seconds so we have to convert an hour into seconds so it's 60 minutes times 60 seconds per minute will give you the number of seconds in an hour so that's 18,400 divided by 3,600 and that will give you an answer of 5.12 amps okay let's try another one so let's have a look at this one if a bulb has a 5 volt potential difference and 2 coulombs of charge passes through it how much energy does the bulb transfer okay so it's telling us the potential difference 5 volts and it's telling us that 2 coulombs of charge passes through it and it wants to know how much energy the bulb transfers so the equation we've got to use is this one okay but we want to know the energy so we're going to have to rearrange this and it will have to look something like this so energy transferred is equal to the potential difference multiplied by the charge so this is simple isn't it potential difference is 5 volts multiply that by 2 coulombs of charge and we get 10 joules of energy transferred by the bulb okay so that was current and potential difference i hope it helped if you have any suggestions please write them down in the comments below otherwise make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe okay see you next time